The question was, I showed a bunch of uh, blank paper when I was starting my book and um, that I would be filling it out, which is actually not true. Um, hold on, I'm reaching. There's so much paper on my desk. So some of it I do fill out and some of it I don't. For example, this is real. So this is my character list. So I can keep track of names. And I don't know if you can tell, there's names that are purple and names that are blue. The purple names are the real main characters and the blue ones are secondary characters or walk-ons. Because if I have a tendency to pick a letter and everyone's name starts with Kira, Kelly, Kyle, Casey, you know, and so you don't want to do that. Um, and so I know which ones can change and which ones can't. So that's really important. Oh, and this is fun and I'm going to cover, I'm going to fold this because it's my private, private email address. The um, lovely Janelle sent me a, a list of names from people who post on my Facebook page. So when I'm looking for names, um, I have this whole list of names I've never used in a book. So I just, as I use them, I cross them out. So Gretchen, hi. Um, you're going to be in this current book, which is the hardcover out in 2018, no title yet. I'm sorry to tell you you're a dead mother, but you're good. You're, you're a good person. Sometimes the dead mothers are bad. Um, and then because these books get complicated, uh, I have the couples. So Santiago and Callie are a couple. So I put together a separate list for them so that I don't remember who these people are. And I'm desperately searching what was his niece's name because she has a speaking role. And so I'll put her name and then I show the relationship and their age. So I have that for both for both sets of couples so that I don't go completely insane and get little notes in the margin saying, you know, her name's changed three times. So the other thing I had was I showed this character list, which you see is still blank. I used to actually fill these out completely. Now I open a computer page and I enter the information. I just read the question. So it's basic height, weight, age, eyes, marks or scars. If there's a feature, I want to emphasize if it if I was my friend Alexis Morgan it would say scar and limp because she loves a scar and a limp in a man um, if there's anything weird about their voice how they dress are their miracle marital status where they were born their parents occupation and then I get into the stuff these are all um, things that I need to know for example who is his this is the hero one so who is his best friend and why? Why is this person his best friend? Does he have any enemies? And if he does, why? And then birth order, who's had the most influence on the hero? How does he decide if he trusts somebody? What kind of car does he drive? Which I really only have there for my husband, who's a serious car guy. But he's always sad if I can't tell them what the hero drives. So I do that. Um, is he comfortable with himself? How would he describe himself? How do others see him versus how he sees himself? Because we all see ourselves very, very differently. Um, then others see us. What is his philosophy of life? His attitude towards the opposite sex? What is his greatest regret? If you're a writer, that is like one of the best questions. What is his greatest regret? Followed by what incident in life is he most ashamed of? And um, I will tell you in this book, ooh, should I tell a secret? Okay, so Santiago um, lost his dad when he was young and they were sort of migrant farm worker family type. And um, he was injured uh, cutting asparagus, and his mom didn't have any money to pay for the ER, so she slept with Farmer, and he paid her bill. And that he, Santiago, is most ashamed of that because he feels he was like nine years old, but he still made his mother do that for him. So that has shaped who he is. So because of that, Santiago always has to be the hero. And he completely takes care of his family, but he takes care of them just a little too much. But in the back of of his mind that is something he he can't he can't let go of until he finally does so maybe I told you too much but there we are that's my secret